Game 2, Tears of the Desert. Let's check this out. Got a tickle in my throat, one sec. Alright. Let's check this out. So, what is the team composition? How are they going to go into Tears of the Desert? Because usually, South likes to play for the Northwest on the A side pretty strong. And wow! The Henry meta is a real thing here between these two regions. Conqueror. Oh, we're going with one Conqueror, double Yamato Republic. Uh, so there's a lot of mobility on the um, Smile side. Gear and Grozovoy. Now we know that Grozovoy is really annoying. Both Grozovoy's and both teams actually for the enemy carrier to spot because it can pick off the planes pretty darn fast. But a second Destroyer. So a Wooster for a Minotaur. And then taking an extra Henry for a Gearing. So it really depends how, you, how much more smoke play that you want to do. Because the gearing will probably play with the Wooster as a team here, giving smoke to the Wooster. Oh, okay. Oh, mods. It's a bit big. Okay, so we have health bars. I'll fix this in a second. And we also have uh, cap timers now. Boink, I'll move that up there. And I'll move that up there. And then we will. Increase the size of the panels. Easier. No, I don't want that. Alright. Pop the minimap up in size a little bit. Alright, cool. Off we go. <clears throat> so, let's check. We'll lock onto the Hakuryu so we get good camera cones. Right, so torpedo bombers, boom, they're gonna ping off to B. It's that initial quick scouting. See, the Henry, double Henry Grozovire is gonna go up to A and have a look and kind of have a shot there. Both torpedo bombers are going through. The fighters are actually slow. He's done a torpedo bomber, then dive bomber. So he's done a double scout, then fighters. And the fighters are actually late. That gives the scouting potential to smile. Slightly. And then the TBs for uh, SGC, I mean, they can come in. We, they see the composition. All right, two Henrys, they're thinking of Charlie, but it looks like the main team composition is all going to A. That's, that's, that initial information is incredibly important to know what the team composition is, how they're positioning, and what you're going to do. Whoa! And that torpedo bomber, this Minotaur in the open, right? Is he a smoke Minotaur? He's a smoke Minotaur. <laughs> He's not a radar Minotaur? Okay, fine. Yeah, all right. It's I guess, if that's the way you want to go about it. But if you're going to have a Minotaur by himself, totally not caring and going for a cap on B, he needs to be protected. You need to have fighters on him first. So yeah, do the Torpedo Bomber Scout at the beginning, sure. But then don't do the Dive Bomber, do the fighters. And even if it's like a sacrificial onto the Grudge Fight, you keep the planes back and you allow the Minotaur to push up to the island, if that's his intention. If the Minotaur pushes up to the island, he denies the cap, he proxy spots with Hydro or just by proxy spotting alone any ships that are on the B side, and his AA bubble takes over the whole center. But, but not kind of giving him uh, sight denial on the enemy team. You kind of gamble with his health pool. And he can't get into his position. With, assuming he wanted to get into B. Uh, and as far as the rest of the map goes, we see um, both CVs doing DB scout along the link. He's got two fighters down here to push that away. Uh, the Henrys are just kind of looking. I think that dive bomber is just to scout anything that possibly goes into Charlie. And the two Henrys are just to kind of stall it, delay it, don't let them get too far. We know the Grozvai has got a uh, Bravo for the Alpha side. Now we know that the enemy has a gearing. So this is a gearing Wooster in here on this uh, smoke side. And the gearing has probably moved himself into Alpha. Now that double AA means it's going to be extremely difficult for this torpedo bomber to fly along the back line. He might see the capping ship briefly, but they don't realize he's there. They're boom. Now they know the planes are there. I don't think the Wooster was paying attention. The gearing is spotted. <clears throat> if he communicates the fact that he's going to see the gearing, these shots should land and should do damage. He might even reset the cap. Yeah, they reset the cap. And that's extremely important on this torpedo bomber. It's actually worth defensive firing that torpedo bomber if you see it coming in from the Wooster and the gearing. That's the whole point of the two combination, so that they can deny sight on top of the fighter cover. And if you've got a gearing in the cap, the whole idea is to fighter protect it so the enemy team cannot see it and they can't suicide spot in. Because now he's taking unnecessary damage and the cap on it is now stalled. 
fact, he's still pushing deeper into A. That last suicide plane spot from the CV is going to be a kill here. This guy should be on full health and the A cap should be on smile. But by a combination of bad AA play and bad fire control, or just allowing the enemy CV to kind of push in, well, you know he's going to suicide spot possibly, so then you back off. You don't need to grab the A cap. You can wait and come back later. That has big ramifications for this game because now the Wooster doesn't have his buddy, he doesn't have the second defensive fire, and he doesn't have his smokes. He can't necessarily go into A, so A is going to be a stalling match now. C is a stalling match as well between the two Henrys fighting each other, so the four Henrys in the south. And then the center, the Grosvoy is just holding down B, but the Minotaurs moved themselves up with a smoke and grab the stall. So Smile were in a really good position. And now, with that one DD death, it's not flipped the game on its head, but it's most certainly given SGC a really, really, really good, um, you know, foothold to, you know, they don't have to deal with as many problems, put it that way. Henry here is all by himself. Now, that's not really going to be something that needs to be dealt with. If the planes, now the problem here is there is not an AA ship. That's the catch. The, the problem for the SGC side, now that I think about it, is see these planes? They're flying with impunity on the front line. Only the Grozovoy can theoretically push them back, kind of, and then they will chip back, and, that, and that, you'll pull them back. But it's not like a Minotaur, it's not like a Wooster on the edge. If you had a Wooster or a Minotaur here, that AA bubble covers all of A. It prevents this um, planes from spotting and staying there for a long period of time until it dies, and that would allow the Grozvoy to reverse them and grab the cap. He could outspot the Wooster just, stay outside the radar, hopefully, but <clears throat> and then grab the A cap. And then if he does see the Wooster, like they just did, well now he gets punished. Now, now if the Wooster can like, kind of proxy spot this Wooster, he's in the open. In fact, if the Wooster's not enough, you know, if if the Grozvoy's not gonna do it, then this you send the torpedo bomber in. You send the TB by himself, not the fighter, he goes in, he spots the Wooster. You fly on the extreme edge so you can go back and forth. Maybe you bait this Wooster to open a gunshot. Now, you don't get closer. You have to pull that plane back. And now he's broadside, and in comes the shots. Uh, reload booster, perhaps? Minotaur's AP, Conqueror's HE. Oh, there you go! That's it! Oh, my goodness. I think Smile is throwing this. The thing is, they were in a good position from the start. They didn't need to make that type of aggressive play, or the gearing could have done a better play, or the Wooster, knowing that his smoke's going to end, are you really going to go into the A cap and face one, two, three, four, five, six ships that all have a crossfire on you? I think you have to sacrifice that and pull back. I don't think you can stay there. So, yeah. Reach the font size on the minimap? How do I do that? But how do I even control the minimap? I don't think I can. There's normally a cog here. Oh no. Oh, what does Smile do to come back into this game? I mean, over here, it's... Well, did they lose one of their... No, I'm to the second Henry. Oh, because they can't see it, derp. Okay, that's why. So it's still four Henrys having just kind of a Henry off. It's like a, a Henry duel over Charlie. No one actually getting any kind of advantage here. Um, although I do like the fact that the... Um, I like the fact from a CV point of view the double Henrys from Smile are together because it makes them harder to kind of focus fire and like kind of chip on, but the isolated Henrys could make it easier to spot and or focus and or like drop as a CV, but it's not, the the, the fact that they're split up allows them to better crossing uh, fire potentials if the enemy team moves up into Charlie. Grosvoy and the Minotaur are just doing this perpetual stalling on Bravo, but now that the A team is kind of push back. There isn't that gearing, there isn't that Wooster anymore. It allows the Gros to move up and he can now begin to slowly dislodge the other Gros, provided he gets sight. Now if this Minotaur has a Hydro, along with his smoke, which is entirely likely, then he's going to be spotted by that. Ooh, hello. Time to go stealth. Ooh, crossfire from all things. I think he's going to go down. Provided he can... Oh, he's on fire now. That's it. I think SGC's going to lose their first guy. Alright. That's good for, for, for Smile. It means they can get back into this now with a little bit of um, scouting control. See, there's double fighters here. Uh, they still need to be careful of this Conqueror doing flanks, but the Henry could theoretically move up to the gap. Now, the thing is, detection's going to be an issue here. Oh, he just takes a huge hit as well. 
That Conqueror with the scouting from the CV means these Henrys can't get Charlie. They might try and think about killing off this SGC guy on the border, maybe if they want to get another kill, but they have to be careful of long range kind of flanking fire from the top. <clears throat> In terms of air control, well this Yamato is also vulnerable now that I think about it. And in terms of fighter control, I don't see the stronger fighters for the Smile team, because they've lost their Wooster. And the Yamato has no protection, and he's turning out, which means he'll eat all four. Yamato's long enough that if he if he turns the wrong way, if he turns out, he takes all four torps. And the bullet protection of the Yamato is pretty good, but you don't want to turn in, because if you turn in, you're going the wrong way, and then other ships can see you. Oh, but as he's turning, he's also going to take more fire. I don't know where he's heading with this. Um, pull back, head south, focus on BC, try and get an aim. I mean, he, theoretically, he could have a shot on the Minotaur, but it's a smoking Minotaur, and that's probably why they took a smoke Minotaur, so he can do it himself. Oh, ha, good shot. <laughs> okay, he needs to get another one of those, but still, I think that's like a single citadel on the Minotaur. Did they see it briefly? No. Well, the Grazvi could be proxy spotting here. Mm, or not. Uh, and that's annoying. See, the Yamato, he, he probably had a flooding from those four torpedo bombers. He's definitely got a perma fire and the CV coming in there. And uh, if I was the enemy CV, I'd be kind of probably just keep focusing on this guy, maybe trying to ching chump him down. That Grosfire is going to do proxy spots, as long as this Yamato keeps firing. This Henry could move up and give defensive fire air scare, or this uh, Grosfire could do blocking fire. And uh, you know what? I kind of... See, the health pool of this Yamato is too low, but that Gros, Henry, and Yamato could go after this guy here. Yep, they're focusing him. Is that not two dive bombers that are armed? Possibly. I don't think, I mean, because it's, it's low health, this should defense fire to kill that off. Should be passive A, or the Gross boy should do it. It's like, yeah, the plane shouldn't make it. Oh no! Hello there! Hello! Hey! Well, this is a very impromptu here, but I've just been joined by my co-caster today. Uh, oh my goodness, professional stream it is indeed. Hello, co-caster. So what's going on here? Well, it looks like Smile is getting be, going to be crushed and the it, C region is going to equalize. But you need to leave me alone for two seconds because I need to do this. Yes. Okay, so... No, don't like don't like the microphone. We have the Republic's now being chomped down. All triple capture points are in the control of uh, SGC. And they're moving up, there's no crossfires. The problem is the Smile team is being kind of hedged into one corner. There isn't really anywhere they can go. The health pools are kind of too low. On the far flank, the, the, the Henrys are kind of being pushed back and the Conqueror actually moved down onto the seat. Wow, but the Henry only needs, the carrier dropped on that uh, Kagero Henry. He's low, but he's not dead, unfortunately. There's nowhere to kind of come back from this. And the point differential, you know what, isn't actually that bad. And there's eight minutes, but I don't see how the teams can make this work. They don't have any island cover. They don't have any assistance. The Grozovoys at the top are having their own little private duel here. The CV is still pounding away at this Yamato because there's no defensive fire cover. And this all comes down to the fact that they lost their gearing and they lost their Wooster. Two defensive fire ships that were the AA anchor for the top that was protecting that Yamato. Oh, and the Henry's getting chumped down as well. I don't see how that's gonna... <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty much game, isn't it? I mean, it was game, realistically, from the moment that the, um, the DD died. Henry's broad. He's trying to get the enemy Henry at 5k, if possible, but the Minotaur's got broad on uh, the Smile Henry that we're looking at the center of the screen. I mean, if he kills the SGC one, it's a trade, but I don't really want to trade. Oh, they get him! Oh, and we see the Yamato, the Republic, and the Henry are firing now all on that Minotaur. It's all going in there. Is it going to kill him? <laughs> Minotaur just trolls. He's like, no, nah, bro. Your AP means nothing to me. <laughs> and they can, and they've, they've still got sight. The CV still has air control in that area. The Minotaur is going to try and AA that down. All right, more AP coming in from the nose. From the Henry, from the Yamato, from the Republic, he's still barely taking any damage though. What, what happens now? I mean, if they kill the Minotaur, 
they still have to deal with the group. Well, they get the minute. They finally get a Minotaur. All right, all right. The Grozovoy battle that's currently going up in the north. The the um, Smile Grozovoy is like significantly lower health, I think. So he's gonna have a harder time. But the C the C V is firing a fighter plane over there, so that'll give him sight, so he can actually fire them. Now the issue is this Henry Republic and Yamato. Oh, I'm gonna say they they have to beat these three ships down here to turn the game around. It, I mean, it act a comeback was plausible. And see the second Grozovoy, he's now fighting, he's on 10k less health, and he has an enemy Yamato also on his flank, so I mean, I don't see how they can bring this back anymore. Uh, in terms of air control side, both team have planes, both team can provide scouting, it's very difficult to do complete sight denial. They might kill the Henry from SGC, yeah, okay, he goes down, but the health pools of the Conqueror is scarily high. So the Kagro SGC is on 2k as well, so the Henry's going to fire him, so is the Republic. Uh, to be honest, this SGC Henry should also die. Uh, there's no reason why he shouldn't, especially if he's opened up fire. I don't know why he's choosing up to fire, he can just stay health. And it's hidden because this Conqueror's got so much health. This Grozovoy is totally Amato, this one's staying safe back, that Republic is moving up to maybe try and assist. Oh, the Henry's still alive! I mean, it's a pretty close finale. Oh, CV drop coming in. So finally, Smile CV dropping on the Yamato. I tell you what, good quote for torpedo bombers. Is this a second set of TBs? I think he's maybe waiting for a flooding effect to kick in. That Henry needs to... They need a no kill here because they're not going to come back from points. It's 50 seconds so the game is over. So second CV comes in. Uh, that could be just in time for damage con to have ended. Uh, two torps. Is he flooding? Uh, yes, he is flooding, and that's possibly a perma flood. But is it going to kill him quick enough? Because the 60 seconds of the game ends. Okay, so the the Henry does die in the far end. That is a perma flooding on the Yamato. That might actually kill him here. Uh, but the Grozovoy is dead from Smile. Shame. Uh, <laughs> and Renegade here is just being annoying on the enemy Republic. Uh, this Henry on 3k somehow needs to kill a Conqueror on 62k. Uh, and he's going down in health. He's burning. Uh, it's, that, that's game over right here when he dies. Because uh, well, there's no way to kill his Conquerors yet, this game. And plus this Conk now can be kind of flat shot in the back. Oh, but like the flooding on the other Yamato is going to go down. It's a messy ending for SCC. They're still going to win this, but it's incredibly bloody messy because they can't stall all three caps. Even then it's four minutes. They would need to kill... Uh, <laughs> they need to kill the Grozvi who can stay hidden and run away. And this Conqueror is on too much health and he's firing on the back. So even though this is... I think SGC is throwing this away kind of... Well, actually, hold on a second. Why did this get so tiny? I'll fix that in a second. Anyway, so, you know, the Haku's moved up. It's a little bit dangerous. Grozovoy's firing into him, but they're okay because they're going to win in six seconds. So, you know, it's all fine. Hey, SGC wins. Woo! 1-1. One, one. Yay! But it, the thing is, if we look at the whole game here, uh, Smile kind of threw that away. They made a mistake. SGC capitalized on it, punished them for the DD play, and punished then the, um, uh, uh, the Wooster later on. And then, uh, from, <laughs> from there, it was just downhill. But the thing is, it, it, it took them a while to clean the game out. You know, it took them a while to clean the game out, to, to finish it off, and honestly, Smile on kind of had their chance coming, those trades at the end, you know, so I mean, it's, it wasn't that close. But still, right, and then 